Okay, we're approaching uh, 2.30, and uh, for those of you who are here watching for the first time and those on the internet watching, welcome to Foster New South Wales. This is round 12 of 14 rounds of the Hobie Kayak Fishing Series presented by Daiwa. Um, this weekend, we've had a, a good field of anglers. We had 95 anglers entered into the Hogsbreath Cafe round, uh, which is being sponsored by Hogsbreath this weekend. We've got... Um, it's probably the third largest run we've had since 2009. The largest run in New South Wales was Foster of 67 anglers, and that was back in 2015. We have anglers from New South Wales, Victoria, Queensland, the ACT. We even have a competitor who's made the way over from Western Australia. Like all the Hobie Fishing Series, anglers are competing for uh, rankings points. It's at over a two-year period. Angler of the Year, who's the best on the year. Cash, uh, prize pools, sponsors packs, and also a chance to uh, find a berth in the Australian Fishing Championships to be held later this year. Another draw card for the event this year is uh, this is uh, the last qualifying round for the Hobie Fishing World Championships. This year it's held in the United States in December. Last year it was held into China. Um, how that system worked is we had five nominated events and anglers had to compete in at least three and the best three places will make you into the Australian team all the way through. The top 10 contender, contenders for the world qualifiers so far, we haven't done the points yet, is Aaron Williams from Victoria, Chris Burbage from Victoria, Mitch King from Victoria, Tony Petty from Victoria, Richard Summerton from Victoria, and Neil Carstairs from Victoria. Um, we haven't added up their results for the day, but at least those guys are were in the running earlier. <clears throat> Another bonus of uh, the Hubby Fishing Series this year, in, the reason why the numbers are fairly large in the 90 things is we have a couple of new divisions. We have a youth division, and that's the under 21s. We have a women's class, that way the girls can compete against themselves. We have a master's division, which is 60 to 64, and a grand master's, which is 65 plus. They still have the chance to take out the overall prize, but they're also competing amongst their own age group, which is great. Another initiative of the Hobie Kayak Fishing Series is if you want to go fishing for a, a series like this, it's free for the first timers. You come in, you learn how to do the registrations, you go out and catch the fish, you come on stage and learn the process and meet like-minded people. So first time people um, get it, no charge, whatever. This weekend, anglers were fishing for four fish per session. The, Kayaks themselves have a live well on there and you keep the fish alive. You put them into a little bag, they go into a little tub of water, a bit of drink of water, a bit of breathing. We call them on stage, we weigh the fish, we score them, and we release them back in to fight another day. All the fish are measured and they're at 26 to the tip, so they're a legal measurement. Um, yesterday, Richard Summerton um, currently was leading uh, the 96 anglers. He had four brim for 3.42 kilos. It uh, puts him in a good stead for today. He's followed closely by Carl Dubois from New South Wales, uh, who was in second with four fish for 3.26 kilos. And Chris Hickson from New South Wales was in third, four fish for 2.96. We also are fishing for the Hogs Breath Cafe Boss Hog, and that's currently at 1.41. And what that is, the largest brim over the series gives the chance to win $100 all the way through. Scoring, are you guys right to go? Yep. So, and the camera obviously is running. Thank you so much. All right, yeah, first angler up is going to be Aaron Williams from Victoria. Now, Aaron uh, is currently in 47th place out of the uh, 95 anglers. He... Uh, had a 1.2 kilo weight yesterday. He needs 2.23 kilos to take the lead. Scoring is showing he's got four fish. No, one fish. And got that backwards, Jim. So he's got one. Call it four if you want. Uh, there it is there. I just want to check this just to yep. take and get my eyes on it. If you, if you can just hold the bag for a second. First for this today, I always like to take and get a measurement so I know what we are. It's 26 to the tip. He is well and truly over that. He's actually 27, but it gives me a, a benchmark 
done. There's a microphone for you, sir. I'll just turn it on. Well, what happened? <laughs> um, probably caught about 50 fish today, but they were all 24, 24, 24. I kept remeasuring them, hoping that they would grow, but 24. Sounds good. That came in at 0.28 of a kilo. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Now, yesterday we had a bit tougher conditions, but those conditions being a bit of rain, a bit of wind, meant the fish were a bit more ready to eat. Today, with the high sun and low wind, uh, we found that that usually shuts down the bite. Kevin Vardy's next. He needs 1.97 kilos to take the lead. Yeah. One fish as One well. Fish. It's going to be tough. Let's have a look at what this one's going to do, Kevin. 0.29. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks. Maybe that screen, if it goes to the left, Jim, or something, I'm not sure. But tr try it next time. Michael Mass is next from Queensland. Four fish. Needs 1.95 kilos to take the lead. He had a bag of 1.48 yesterday. You need 1.95. You're a little bit short there, but that's not a bad bag. Well, Very good, good looking fish. There, yeah. Very good fish. So you need 1.95 to take the lead. Let's have a look and see how close we are. Bang, 2.01. Do you want to weigh that for the I boss? Might, might try. Do I don't think they'll make it. But Excellent. That's a new leader here. Now, you take the bag. I take the mic. We'll get the bag. And you're chasing a 1.41 kilos. But let's at least... What is, did you catch fish all day? No. No. All right. This for the boss hog to see if he can knock off Richard. And it's going to come in at 0.94. There you go. You grab him. I don't do fish. Well done to the new leaders and from Queensland. I want to see the interstate guys come down here and do well. Shane Ferris is next. Scoring showing three fish. So he improved yesterday. He only had two fish yesterday. Currently in a 55th place. You caught more fish, and that's always a good thing. Yeah, it's cool, mate, yeah. And you caught fish on both days. There's a lot of yep. people that uh, got donuts, as we call them. That means zero fish. Yeah, that's it. Nicer day today, wasn't it? Yeah, beautiful. A bit tougher fishing, but a, a nice, pleasant day for the middle of winter. At least it wasn't raining. That's right. 0.92. Thank you very much. Thanks, sir. I take it you guys are the end of the line. That means there's lots of people. Now, of 96 people caught that were here fishing yesterday, 77 people caught fish. That's a testament to the fishery. Dayton Taylor is next. He's from New South Wales. He needs 1.42 kilos to take the lead. Nice bag of fish. Yeah, I should have that. I think you will. Won't, where, la won't where, last long, though. Where did you catch these? Um, just around the racks. Everywhere, scattered everywhere. There's okay. no, no one particular spot. You're currently in 12. You need 1.42 kilos to take the lead. You're easily going to do that 2.08. Well done. We'll see if you hang in there. Cheers. Nice bag of fish. It's good to see. We were out in the water most of the day, and we found a lot of people were struggling in certain regions, and other guys were getting it. Stephen Mass is next. He's from Queensland, cousin to Michael. Four fish, so he has an improvement over yesterday. Do you have 2.77 kilos? Not quite. No. Very similar to fish. You get fish all day long, or is it just one? I didn't have the... anything till 12, and then I went in the canals and probably caught 40 fish. So you fish the canals just behind here then. Yep. Now, it's very custom what you're doing in Queensland. You fish canals there quite a bit. Yeah. Right, yeah. So getting to familiar territory, you know what was going on. 1.41 kilos. Thank you very much, and uh, thanks for making the trip down. So Dane Taylor is still leading at 4.16. We've got Paul Malov next. He had four fish yesterday, four again today, so very consistent. Does he have a 2.86 kilo bag? No, I don't think so, Steve. It's a nice better, fish, Better though. than yesterday, yeah. Nice fish. Now, I saw you fishing the flats out the front. Did you stay there most of the day? No, that wouldn't have been me. That I made, made the trip to Tuncurry. Where did you go today? I was out near Tuncurry. Ah, that's yeah. where you were. 2.09. Very interesting. The top three bags are that 2.08 and 2.09. That's going to put you up currently in two, fourth place. Chesney Fung is coming up here. Now, he only had one fish yesterday, which is unusual. Chesney usually is a very consistent fisherman. He is from Victoria. You need a log 3.62. That's not going to oh, happen. not going to make it. <laughs> but, um, a much better day. Much better what day. What did you change and do differently? Um, just move a lot more. Move a lot, move around yeah, a bit more. That's right. Run and gun, as they call it. Let's that's have right. a look. There you go. 2.06 kilos. Very, very nice bag. Thank you. Did you want to weigh that, or is it? 
No, I may as well. Okay. Just for myself. Just for your own personal yeah. peace of mind. You think it's going to be a kilo fish? No. That's all right. Let's have a look and see what it is. Nine one. Thank you. Much better, Ray. I don't handle the fish. You do. Right. Thank you. Work cover. Yeah. All right. Tyson Haynes from Queensland is next. Four fish yesterday, one fish today. Currently in 33rd place. Tough day on the water, it appears. Yeah, definitely. A lot Long tougher day. than yesterday. Yes, it was. I think the uh, despite it being cold, I think it was a better day fishing in general. I don't think we're going to have 77 anglers get fish. That one fish is going to come in at 0 .32. Thank you very much for making the journey down. Thank you. We'll go from there. And please, guys, releasing your fish. I think there's a couple of guys out there with kayaks that are actually putting them in the live wells and take them out to deep water so we're not feeding the birds. Any cooperation, you can help us to, to do that so the fish will be good. Simon Morley is up next. Four fish yesterday. Four fish today. Simon's a very consistent one. Needs 2.59 kilos. I don't think you're going to have that. No. Uh, probably better than yesterday. So. Okay. Yesterday you had 1.58 kilos. Yeah. Drain some of the Wallace's Lakes finest out. See if you can beat yesterday's total. Just, Just 1.63. Good, awesome. consistent bag, though. Yeah, that'll do. Thank you. Thanks, mate. Well done. Jason Reed, New South Wales. Four fish yesterday, 1.81 kilos yesterday. Needs 2.3. Don't think you're going to do it. No, nah, not The head lie. shake confirms it. Nope. Are you going to beat yesterday's bag? No, nah, no way. I don't think so. Let's have a look. 1.52. Not bad. Very right. consistent. Four by four. Thank you very much. That's all you can ask for. Leader still Dane Taylor from New South Wales at 4.16 kilos. And Carl Dubois, four fish yesterday, four fish today. Now, when I saw him earlier, he only had two fish. He had some issues, but he's not gonna worked be, not through gonna them. Be bigger than last one. It's yesterday. not, but you've got four. You're a very consistent angler. The, the top ten guys are very consistent. You've got to have four every day, as you well know. That helps. So four fish are going to come in at 1.41. Thank you very Let's much, See Steve. what that does into the top ten. Thank, Thank you. you. That leaderboard is correct, Jim, with the combined two weights. Okay, thank you. Who we got next? Dennis Mesdorf from Queensland. Three fish yesterday, three fish today. It's a four fish tournament. Just checking. Mate, I forgot since the last one was only three, wasn't it? Yes. Back in the day. Yeah, back in the day. As we go south, we go three, and as we go north, we go four. Those three fish, you had 153 yesterday. It's going to be a little bit lighter than yesterday, 1.20, but still very consistent fishing. And more importantly, it's good to see you back fishing these Yeah, things. I'll see you, Bri. Will we see you up there? Uh, I think so. Awesome. See you then. Thanks, mate. Cheers. Dennis has been fishing for a number of years and kind of disappeared. It's good to see some of these guys come back. Brendan Croft is next. Two fish yesterday. He's from New South Wales. Only one fish today. Tough day on the water. Yeah, definitely another tough day. I need to rethink what I do next year. Play with little ones. That is just on the money. Change whatever you did. <laughs> yeah. Don't do that again. Do something completely different. Absolutely. All right, that one fish is going to be at 0.34. Well done. Thank you. You're on stage two days in a row, and a lot of people can't say that. Thanks, mate. No worries. Warren Allen is next, New South Wales. Had three fish yesterday. A little bit short of a kilo, 0.93. He's chasing a 3.75 kilos. Is your arm hanging down? I'm no, I should have a not. kilo for that. That's, uh, that's not a bad bag of fish. Did you catch fish all day? I did. Um, all, all day, for, and then it stopped all of a sudden. But yep. Did yeah. that change of the tide, did it stop? I think so. Yep. And the wind stopped too. There you go. Okay, four fish. Going to be a nice bag, the largest bag, single weight bag so far today, 2.59 kilos. Very good. You just got sh caught short yesterday a little bit. Indeed. Well done, matey. Very good bag there. Let's put him up into third place currently at 3.52 combined. Richard Benson is next. He's from New South Wales. Had a nice bag yesterday, four fish, 1.68 kilos. Have you got three kilos of fish for me? You doubt it. Well, you're going to need three fish to get in the top. 
but you don't need much to stay in the top ten. Very golden fish. Where do you catch these at? Just uh, on the flats. On the flats. Very dark fish. Okay. You need three kilos to move in the lead. I don't think you're there, but it's still a good bag. 1.94 kilos. That's currently going to move you up, I believe, into second place, thereabouts. Well done. Thank you, sir. Everyone's back. Good. Thank you. And that's both lows and highs. Okay, Matthew Mason Wells next from Queensland. Quite a few Queenslanders came down. This is very good. The Australian Championships are in Queensland this year. Had one fish yesterday, one fish today. On stage twice, that's a good thing. Because we've got a box of donuts over there, so you're not going to have any donuts. Yeah, that's I a like good donuts. Thing. You like donuts. Well, I like fish better, so that's good. Just one fish. <clears throat> Point three three. Thank you very much, and hope you enjoyed today better than yesterday. Glamour day on the water, fishing or not. James Rogan is on stage next. Had four fish yesterday. Really nice bag at 2.12. One fish today. What happened? I didn't catch any fish. You didn't catch any. Wheels fell off? Yep. Big time. Did you fish the same place as you did I, yesterday? I did, and that's where I got this one right at the death. Okay. It's all right, you're on stage twice. That's good. 0.51. Thank you. It all goes towards those angle year points into those ranking systems. Jason Meach is up next. Now, Jason was pretty good. He's not in contention for the World Championships. One of the anglers had a problem with the drive. Jason said, here you go, mate. Use my drive, and he paddled all day long. Well done for you doing that. Thanks, Mike. You had four fish yesterday for 1.75 kilos. You got four fish today. I don't think it's going to make the 175. Nah. But uh, not too bad. 1.29 is your bag Thank today. Thank you, Steve. Well done in a absolute glamorous sportsmanship. Wade Walker is next. He's from Queensland. One fish yesterday. Worked out how to do it. Four fish today. Much better. It's a long drive. And now you can have an easier drive home knowing that you got your limit. That's always the thing. It's okay. They're all about the same size. You catch these all in the same location. It was, yeah. You can tell sometimes by the color of these. If you had some dark fish and silver fish, I'd say you moved around, but you didn't. Yeah, all right. no. Mainly just on the weed bed. On the weed bed, you can tell. 1.26 kilos. Not bad. Big improvement over yesterday. Was. And that's all you can do. Thank you. Thank you. Mark Mogleton is next, New South Wales. A great improver as well. One fish yesterday. It was a nice fish, 0.97. Four fish today. Do you have 3.71 kilos? Just shy by about two kilos. Just shy about kilos. two kilos. There you go. It's like Richard Summer. Hey, how did you get? And he goes three, and then he says kilos. So let's have a look here. Nice bag of fish today for Wallace Lake system. One point six five. Perfect. Thank you, sir. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. Eric Wood is next. Bringing up the whole bump tub bag full of water. Awesome. Four fish yesterday. Four fish today. That's good. Good day in the water. Oh, it's tough. Tough? But, uh, yeah, there's four legals and they're all in the bag. It was a bit warmer today, wasn't it? It was. Especially this morning. Yeah. All right, let's see what it does for Eric. He's going to beat yesterday's bag. He smashes it easily. 1.75. Big improvement over yesterday, and you can't get wrong with that. Good. Thanks. Thank you. <clears throat> Brian Hunt is next. We saw Brian about midday, and he had four fish straight up, which is quite good. He had a good bag yesterday, 2.61 kilos. He only needs 2.07 kilos to take the lead. Have you got two kilos of fish? Uh, this maybe. is going to be Sandra. pretty close. Pretty close. You need 2.07. Let's have a look. Do we have a new leader? 1.92. Not Just too Sunday. bad. It's going to definitely put you up there. Respectable bag of fish yep. on day no two. Worries. Thanks. Thank you. Brian was mainly reaching the fishing the channel just past Yahoo Island towards the back end here. Patrick Wilson made the journey from the ACT. Four fish yesterday for 184. Looks like you stumbled a little bit. Struggled today. Two fish. 
Yeah, struggled today. It was very, very quiet. That's all right. Great jersey. That's from Carl Jorkipson. He's one of the guys. It's a, a USA Bass Pro guy. He's an Australian guy. A great following in Australia for yeah, a USA happy guy. To, happy to buy a jumper and support him. He's a great ambassador for fishing in Australia. Point seven two Thanks. for Patrick. Thanks for a great tournament, Steve. Thank you. Cheers, Matty. Cheers. Jason Lambert is New South Wales. Four fish yesterday for 1.74 kilos. Two fish today. Yeah, a bit lighter today. A little bit lighter. A little bit unlucky. 0.81. Thank you, Jason. Thanks, Steve. Hope you enjoyed it. Matt Petri is next. Matt's from Victoria. Four fish yesterday for 1.36 kilos. You need 3.32 kilos to take the lead. No, it's not, not going to get there. A little bit short, but a nice bag of fish. But no, I got a bag both days, so I'm happy. This is better than yesterday's. Yeah, it's about 1.8, 1.9, somewhere in between. Let's have a look. <laughs> These scales don't lie. 1.86. Perfect. Well done, Matty. Thank you. Thank you. Get my lucky sham at wow. You buy one, I'll give you another one too, Neil. And if you tell your friend, I'll give you an extra one. <laughs> Dean Gamble's next. Four fish, one point four. Two. Two today. Ish. Now, you're still wearing your pajamas. Yes, um, I've had an addition today to the wardrobe because my hair was messy, so I've got a nice hat on. you got a nice hat on. That's currently the... donated this morning. <laughs> That's the so limited edition Scott Lovick hat. It actually, it really goes with those pants. Believe it or not. You're just jealous. <laughs> two, I am. Two <laughs> fish for 1.05 kilos. But it makes it easy. You get out of bed, you don't have to do anything. You did right. I told you that. That's so you take them off at night, though. That's what I'm worried about. I can't okay. reveal that. That's right. too much information. All right. Thank you. Nice pants. Chris Burbage won numerous events to Australia. Keen Fishing does a, his bass, his brim, also the yellow belly. Four fish yesterday for 1.88. Three, Three fish. Today. Yep. Couldn't find them today. Very much unlike you, but yep. the sun was up and it was a different thing. Totally different. The, if we had a little bit more wind, I yep. think the whole place would have changed completely. All right, those three fish are going to be at 1.74 kilos. There you Thanks, go. Thanks, Steve. Can I just uh, say thank you to a few people? Uh, Certainly. Monster Fish, JTB Security, who have just come on board, Joel Crosby, uh, Tim Golby, and Gary Cook, because without them, I wouldn't have got here. Thank you very much. Awesome. There's a great group of people that uh, come fish these tournaments. Um, it makes it worthwhile and fun. So if you haven't done it, come down and, and join us. That's what I did. Scott Sanderlands is next from Queensland. One fish yesterday, one fish again. Made the long journey from Queensland. They let you through the border. One again. So you, one, that's, consistent. That's okay. Did you catch him early on or did you have pain all day until uh, the end? About 9.30 got him. About 9.30. And then things got better? No. And then that was it. Okay. <clears throat> Point five seven. Thanks, Steve. At least you made the journey, and we'll see you uh, in Queensland. Michael Halliday from Queensland. Four fish yesterday. Not a bad bag yesterday. Just short of two kilos at 1.92 kilos. Has four fish today. You need 2.76 to take the lead. Yeah, no chance. No chance, but it's a good bag. The yeah. top three guys, other than one, is generally just over that two kilo range. Seems to be the bag size of today's event. Yesterday was slightly higher. And that's going to put you in that 1.97. Very similar bags to all the leading guys right now. Good bag of fish, though. Yep. And well done on a very tough day number two here at, at Wallace Lake. Next is Brian Rutledge. Brian is in the Grand Masters division. Four fish yesterday, 1.93. Has taken so many prizes off us this year, I'm, we're going broke. Three fish today, Brian. You've, yep. what, okay, you've got three. That's okay. You've had a good run this year, haven't you? Very good. Since 2009, I think, by all means, this is your best tournament year yet with prize in places. So. Point eight nine for those three. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well done. Again, he's competing in his own division as well as in the Open Series. Joel Crosby is next from Victoria. Really good bag yesterday. 2.21 kilos for four fish. 
He needed a hat today, and uh, we got you a hat, but it, it wasn't a lucky hat. Thank you for the hat. I uh, yeah, it saved me some sunburn. That's a nice fish. Did you get it in the racks where I saw you? I did get it in the racks. Yes. Just, just nice fish. Just a shame it doesn't have any friends. Yeah, it's all right. He's a big fish. That one fish is going to be one point zero nine kilos. Can I weigh that for Boss Hog? You just did. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't born on Friday, the 13th. But not a bad fish for one fish. You just needed three of your friends. Rodney O'Sullivan's next New South Wales. Four fish yesterday. Had a two kilo bag, 2.06. Only two fish today. The high sun, low wind, and not quite the tide we had made a big difference. Yeah, it changed tubes today, so... It did. It was pretty small. I was praying for a little bit more wind. At one stage, they were predicting a little sea breeze, a little bit of an east-north-easter, which would really helped, and it really just flattened off during the day. Those two fish are going to come in at 0 0.70. Wind on the water is always a good thing when you're brim fishing. <clears throat> To recap with the top guys, first place is Carl Dubois at 4.67. Second place, Brian Hunt at 4.53. Third place at 4.16 kilos is Dane Taylor. Next we have Mark Young. Come on up, Mark. Awesome bag yesterday. Four fish for 2.52 kilos. Got four fish again. You need 2.16. Have you got that? No. No. Just short. Here we go. You need 216. You're not going to get there, I don't think. It's going to be one and a half. 1.51. 1 not too terribly bad. Thank you. That'll put you up there considerably. It has. It's bumped you up into fourth place. Luke Rogan is Queensland. He's up next. Four fish yesterday. Four fish today. You need a three, cut, three plus kilo bag. I can tell by your walk and the way you're holding your arm, it's not three kilos. But a good day on the water? Yeah, it was slow morning, but then I just went to the same spot as yesterday and got a bag. Okay. They just got bigger and bigger upgraded, so. There we go. Let's see what this is going to net you. These four fish are going to come in at 1.67 kilos. Well done. Jim's up next. Had two kilo bag even yesterday for four fish. Got three today in the uh, testing conditions. That's okay. You got fish and you're on stage, that's a good thing. Those are all legal. Let's have a look and see what the net result's gonna do and if it can keep you into the top 10. It's gonna be 0.97, we'll see shortly. Thank you, sir. Okay. Thanks. The line's going down, so that's a good thing. Let's speed things up a bit. Dan Walter is next. One fish yesterday at 0.53. Two fish today, so that's a massive improvement. You smashed it. Well done. Thanks, mate. Tough day. Yeah, tough day and tough weekend. It's not where I should have gone and just Foster did it to me again. Yeah, well, you'll get there if I keep slugging away. 0.85. Well done. Thank you. Neil Carstairs is next. He's from a Mortgage Corp who's actually been very good in the lending game, whether it be residential, private, or commercial. A lot of the guys here have got their house finances from him and refinancing. Yes, they have. Yep, had some good. really good support from the guys. Thank That's, you very much. You've been with us since 2009 fishing these comps, so it's uh, you've wanted a long time there. One yep. fish today. I just want to say thanks to Jason Meach. I am... Um, yeah, <laughs> I snapped my drive at the start about three quarters of the way to the point and I was fluffing around and then just, just the hand came over and said, here, grab this and took mine out. I looked over, it was Jason, so that's, I was, um, that was a good going gesture. for glory, but unfortunately I didn't live up to it. That's all right. Yeah, the gesture is, is very awesome and that's just the, uh, the camaraderie we have in the, uh, the kayak fishing comps. Ben Fair is next. We saw Ben a few times on the water today. Got flathead today. It looks like a couple of brim. Had two fish yesterday, two fish today. So you're consistent. Consistency is good in the long run. Not quite consistency the way I wanted, but no, oh. but it's it's okay. See if you beat yesterday's total. Not quite. 0.69. Nice little flat head you caught the other day. Yeah, it was nice. You just came over. Uh, wrong species, unfortunately. That's all right. Fish is fish on your day off. Just waiting for a couple of the anglers to come back on with their 
boards, what we're trying to do is take a little bit of extra care with the fish so that the... Um, are you bringing those to us? Okay. Oh, you got your fish. Sorry, I thought you were coming back. My apologies. You're over here. We're trying to keep the fish away from the pelicans. We don't want to give them a free feed, so we're doing a little bit extra care to get the fish out in deep water whenever possible. Paul Hardiman is next from the ACT, made the journey up. Two fish yesterday for 1.13 kilos. Three fish today, slight improvement. Still a bit light on, but it's okay. Did you enjoy, Foster? I've had a great day today, Steve. You couldn't ask for better weather. A little bit more wind breeze on the ruffle on the water might have been good, but yeah. Uh, if, if we would have had wind on the water, um, it would have changed things and probably made a, a fantastic weekend. Yeah, but it, it was still beautiful outside. 0.96, not 96. too terribly bad. Thanks, Stephen. Thanks to the Ho Hobie for running this weekend. We always appreciate it. That's Thank all right. You. We enjoy getting up at 4:30 in the morning and doing these things for you guys. <laughs> Tracy is next. She wasn't on the stage yesterday. Like I said before, we have a women's division. Tracy has done very, very well in fishing this year for us. Zero fish yesterday. Didn't get her limit of four, but did get two, and you get to come on stage. That's a good thing. How are you? Good. We awesome. missed you yesterday. I know. Two nice fish. I know. I'm very excited. You just needed two more. I know. It's always the way. The women's class is pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah. It's, it's awesome. a lot of fun. The girls have a ball, and they yeah. actually serve it up to the guys quite a bit. So I enjoy doing that. <clears throat> 0.53. I tell you what, for two fish, 0.53, not too terribly awesome. bad. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Well done. Carl Dubois is still leading. James Kilpatrick. None. Yes, I didn't see James. Now, James is a Hobie dealer. Tell us about where you're located. Uh, we're located at Belmont Lake Macquarie. Belmont Lake Macquarie. You've been a dealer for quite a few years now, haven't you? Yeah, I think four years. That's all right. And you've put up with me for four years. That's pretty good. That's pretty exciting. One fish. You're on the board. He's a small one. 26 just. Definitely just. Just, I can tell. 0.31. Thank you. Thank you. All right, mate. We've got dealers throughout the region, and this also weekend you've got James from Barclay Marines who served up the morning packs for us, also the lunch. They're the local foster agent that carry the, uh, the Hobie kayaks. So uh, if you're interested in kayak, go see the boys at Barclays. Dane Price is next. Four fish yesterday for 1.61. One fish today. Yeah, <clears throat> just couldn't find them today. Okay. Did you get this early on, or...? Um, yeah, probably about 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock, okay. We had some people that had their limit by 9, two days in a row. 0.58, and others got it towards the end. You just had to be in the right place at the right time. Thank you. Thank you. Stephen Pryke from Victoria is next. We saw him in the water a few times. Only two fish yesterday, only one fish today. Very unlike you. It's not your style. Yeah, a little bit different to what I'm used to. But I have to make use with what I've got, so... That's it. It's all right. You needed th th three more of your friends in there. 0.67. Thank, Thank you. you. Very, very small bag weights today. Very tough conditions with a uh, high sun and no wind. Brad Williams is up next. This is Brad's first kayak comp. Brad is a powerboat Fisherman fishes at tournaments for a number of years. Bet Southern Brim Series, very good angler on the own right. Came in to try the kayaks out. Had four fish yesterday for 1.60. Four again, mate. Four again today. How are your legs? Oh, oh yeah, kill them today. Yeah, that's all I right. Oh, bad yesterday. Yeah, that's okay. It's good for you. You'll live longer. <sighs> there you go. Four fish. See if we can top it's yesterday's bag. It's a good workout. 2.03. Not Steve. too bad. Cheers. Thank you for coming and joining us. No Thank you. I love the powerboat guys when they come in. And we have uh, quite a few of us have powerboats and fish the kayaks and vice versa. So it's a very good mix uh, of the anglers. Lindsey Pryke is uh, next. We didn't see him on stage yesterday. No fish yesterday. Only one today. Long day on the water. Yeah, long day for one fish. Yeah. That's okay. At least you're on stage. Yeah. No donuts. Don't like donuts. Donuts aren't good. No, that's for sure. 0.60. Hope you enjoyed it. I think the weather was good today. Yeah. Thanks. <clears throat> Brogdon is next from Victoria. I, I'm not even going to tempt your last name. I'm just not one of those guys that can do it. Three fish yesterday for 1.73. You got three fish again. Only fish today. Very small fish today. 
That's okay. Yeah. Where'd you fish? Uh, at the front, the racks. At the racks. I started to release all my fish before they hit the net and picked these up on the way home on the flats. So, yeah. All righty yeah. then. 0.88. There you go. Thank you. Jason Dean from Victoria, three fish yesterday for 0.95. You need almost four kilos to take this out. It's not going to happen. Uh, that's definitely not going to happen. But you got four fish, so you I, proved over yesterday. I have got four fish, caught them early. Caught them early? Here. What would you catch these fish on? I caught them on a jackal chubby. Jackal chubby, what color? Deep in uh, brown suji. Brown suji. 1.60 kilos, well done. Thank you. You needed that on day one. Yeah. Jeff Alford is next. We didn't see him yesterday. This year we did. It was good today. Three fish. Not bad. It means you've had a better day. Indeed. Just better. Thank you. Thank Look you. at that. Nice. Yeah. It's better than the dreaded donut. It is. I'm so worried you better getting double donut. No, you can't do that. It's not, <laughs> good, for, not good for your health. Donuts aren't good. 1.24. Okay. Well done. Please. Thank you. Excellent. <clears throat> Paul Dunlop is next, New South Wales. Another guy we did not see on the stage yesterday. Only two fish, but you caught fish today. Oh, I didn't. You, <laughs> you, avoided, you avoided the dreaded double donuts, That's the double zeros. Happened, yeah. Anything but donuts. 0 0.82. Thank you. Thanks, Hope you enjoyed it. Good on you, mate. Thank you. To, to, to Brian is next. Brian. Brian. Two fish yesterday, one fish today. Yeah, I didn't have the greatest weekend. <laughs> okay. But fun nonetheless. But you were here with the better half. It yeah. really made it nice, didn't it? Of course. Of course. One fish is 0.33. Well done. Thanks for the weekend. Appreciate it. No donuts. You brought those donuts, Maddie. You've got the little box of donuts there. That's, we save those for people who caught no fish. Shane Hensley is next, New South Wales. Hensley. Two fish yesterday, one fish today. Struggle Street. A little bit. That's okay. How are you? Not too bad. It's probably 27 to the tip measurement, maybe 28. 0.51. Well done. The line's getting smaller. That's a good thing. We've got lots to go through this afternoon. Glenn Allen. Four fish yesterday for 1.98. Now, Glenn made the Australian team for the China Worlds. Very spectacular event, wasn't it? It was. It was very good. <coughs> the fish that this guy caught, that, uh, <laughs> one was amazing. Two today. That's not your style. No. Shocker. Plenty of fish, but tiny. A lot of people caught a lot of small fish today that are undersized. That was under 26.61. Well done, Matty. Thank you. Thanks very much. <coughs> Carl Dubois is still leading at 4.67, and that's combined of a, his bags over the two-day period. Brian Hunt from New South Wales is second at 4.53. Third place at 4.16 kilos, Dane Taylor from New South Wales. In fourth place, 4.03, Mark Young from New South Wales. And then the first of the Queenslanders in fifth at 3.89, and that's Michael Halliday. Who we got next on stage? Arthur Amy's zero fish yesterday. You can leave as much water in that tank as you want, because I just have to pour it out here. Perfect. One fish today. That's a 100% improvement. And you avoid those little bags of donuts on the desk there. If you're going to catch one fish, that's not a bad one to catch. Yeah, it's not too bad, actually. Okay. Let's have a look at this one brim. 1.04. Nice. There you go. Is that your first kilo brim? Uh, no, it's actually second. Second. Finally made it. <laughs> there you go. The kilo club, as we call it. Very nice fish. Richard Summerton still has the boss hog, and that's a one brim tall yesterday. It was 1.41 kilos for a fish. A very nice fish. Stephen Crawley from Queensland's next. The Queenslanders have done very well. I've seen most of them on stage. Three fish yesterday, only two fish today. Yeah, just the two. I had my chances at the other ones, but uh, that's, the, uh, that's what happens when you fish in the racks. Okay. 
What round did you win? You won a round last year. I forget where it was. Uh, no, Port Macquarie, Port this, Macquarie. Year. This, this year. Port Macquarie, you won. Very good and you, very convincing win, too. Um, point nine five. Well done. Cheers, mate. Thanks for making it down. He's got a sponsor shirt on, Sun State Hobie. Now, they're the local dealer up in Queensland. We've got dealers throughout Australia who help sponsor some of these guys and cover some of the costings to get here. Scott Slatterly is next. One fish yesterday, three fish today. That's a good thing. You need 4.23 kilos. Yeah. Close? No. <laughs> no, but uh, for three fish, if you had one more fish, we don't close. Then you'd be we'll doing be right. really well. Three nice fish. Let's have a look here. Not bad for three, 2.14. If the average brim is, say, 350 to 500, you would have smashed it. Well done, Matey. Thank you. Thanks very much. Very good. That's the leading bag for, I think, today on a one-day total, or close to it. Must have been that 197s to, say, 205s. So he's done very, very well. Steve Thomas is next from Victoria. Made the journey up. Three yesterday, only one today. Different day, wasn't it? Tough. Sometimes you trade warmth and sunshine and no wind for less fish. Yesterday you guys wanted all this warmth and sunshine. Exactly. And today you're wishing it was the other way around. 0.54. Thank you so much. Thank you. I, for one, did not miss the rain in the morning at 5 a.m. the other day. Dave Hedge, what are you doing? Four yesterday for 2.15. One fish today. Specializes in rack fishing. I saw you in the racks, and you yeah. got one fish. Matter of fact, we all saw lots and lots of fish in the racks today. I yeah, mean, and some all big there. fish. There was heaps there. They were, they were coming out following the lures. They just wouldn't bite. I've never seen so many fish in the racks that were, just would not eat. It was, it was amazing. It, it turned into a very, very frustrating day. That's all right. Point six one. Very much. There you go. Well done. Thank you. A lot of the guys are sight fishing, so you're fishing the racks. There's the fish, when it's a bright sun, hide underneath the racks. You can actually see them. Trying to get them to eat something is another story altogether. Tony Petty, another Victorian. One fish yesterday, only two. Another person that I don't believe this is all you brought to the stage. Yeah, no, I'm just a bit disappointed with the weekend, but... That's you know, fishing? It is fishing. Did you change your locations that you did, or you went right I back did, there again? I did, yeah, no, no, I changed. I was in, in the lake yesterday, and then sort of went down towards the racks today. Okay. I'm used to you getting three and a half kilo bags. Yeah. There you go, 0. 0.63. Maybe next comp. Next comp. You'll be right. There's a lot, a lot of good anglers here that have gotten uh, very mixed results. Michelle Carmody is next, another in the females division. Did not come on stage yesterday. Michelle's been fishing with us for a long, long time. I think she was there back in the 2009, 2010. Only one fish, but you've made it. You're on stage and no donuts. You've avoided yeah, the double donuts. Avoided the double, no one. There you go, well done. Tough day on the water. Oh. You're not the only one, so the very short line today. But you're in there at the I'm women's sure division, that. which is good. 0.63. Tracy's, Tracy's in there. That's Come good. Ahead. Yes, Stay. thank you so much. Yeah, so you got Tracy in the women's at 1.53. Michelle now is in second at 0.63. Jonathan Chin from the ACT. Four fish yesterday for 2.03. You may, if you ever watch the Australian Fishing Championships, hope you have a team in there, and Jonathan was on the Australian Fishing Team. I think Richard Summerton was also joining you? Yes. 2.03. You need 2.65 to take the lead. I don't think that will happen. It's a good bag. It's going to definitely bump off quite a few people down. Let's have a look here. 2.35, not you. too bad. Now, where'd you get these fish today? Um, I got them on the flats, uh, pretty much um, Greenpoint and then around the island, so. Okay, what were you throwing today? Um, hard, so, Domeki, um, Desco, Cranks, and also Sopla. That's a hard so. body lure? Yes. Is it a deep, medium, or? Uh, it's a shallow. Shallow lure, much. and what color was it? Um, it was like a, a muddy prawn type color. Okay, sounds good. Um, yeah, and then soft plastic. Soft, what soft well. plastics were you throwing? Um, a Damiki uh, Armour Shad 3 inch. So okay, and what much. color was that as well? Um, it was skin blue. So. Skin blue. Blue? Yeah, very it was, good. It was like a pink. So. Gotcha. Excellent. As the bags come on and get bigger, the guys will actually start telling you what I'm 
you catch on Saturdays they don't say a word they don't tell you where they fished and what they caught it on so we don't bother to ask good bag that is gonna put uh, Jonathan into third place and that's usually a fairly good paycheck Jason Childs had a very good bag yesterday four fish for two three five one today just the one one fish took the punt going back to the same spot as yesterday but they didn't, didn't play didn't, the game didn't play what was the current change different between the two locations? Uh, it was it was running a bit harder. I don't know if it was the clearer skies, maybe. I think it's the clearer skies yeah. and the high overhead sun. Yeah. It's all right. You're on stage twice, 0.78. Well done. Thanks, Steve. No worries. Chris Hickson is next. Chris uh, is a regular to the Powerboat Tournament. He's won several of the ABT events and uh, features quite well. Been on Australian Fishing Championships a few times. Four fish yesterday for 2.96. I think you were sitting in third yesterday. Was, yep. You need 1.72 kilos to take the lead. You're currently in 23rd place. Is this a 1.72 kilo bag? It's going to be close. 2.16. We have a new leader put together. Now, where'd you catch these fish and what'd you catch them on? Um, I just pretty much did a run through the racks. I stopped at the um, the poles before Lani, so sort of the first set of poles once you come out of the lake, um, and just worked my way, weave my way through them all, and sort of picked the best spot, or what I thought was going to be the best spot on the tide, and just spot hop my way over towards um, the mouth of the Willamba River and spot up my way back. We've seen a lot of people there to go fish the racks. They seem to stay on a certain rack the whole time. I noticed the style you have is you find probably the best two or three racks in a system. You go hit it, and then you move on somewhere else. Yeah, especially today there was. Um, um, there was a lot more traffic in the racks today, so I had to sort of try and key in, and I did a lot more moving around, which I didn't really want to do, but um, I knew where they should have been, and I did hook, I, yesterday I didn't hook any big fish, today I hooked three, and uh, didn't stick any of them, so. What were you throwing today predominantly to get these fish in the racks? Um, probably 50-50 between an Eco Gear Aqua brim prawn on a worm hook, uh, and just a Z-Man two and a half inch bloodworm grub on that, a 20th in weight. And that's a soft plastic for those who don't know? Yeah, just soft plastic, that's it. I, um, I threw the cranky crab around a little bit, because I did get one nice fish on it yesterday, but a lot of the stuff that I fish is too shallow and too weedy. Now, so. now you mentioned the cranker crab. That's a new lure that's been out for about a year, year and a half now, and it imitates a small little crab. Yeah, it's it's a perfect imitation for a small crab, and Foss has got so many oysters and rocks in the place and poles that it, it's a crab fishery, but for some reason this weekend, they, um, well, I personally didn't find them key onto it, so stuck to the grubs and it worked. Thank Excuse you me. very much. Well done on the lead so far. Okay, next, is this the last weigh-in? This is the last one. And Richard Summerton from Victoria, leader from yesterday, four fish for 3.42 kilos, needs 1.7 kilos to take the lead. He's got that. Now, I saw you early on, and both days you had fish early. Is that correct? That's correct. Uh, today, I actually got my four fish really early, and then it um, shut down just... The uh, sun came out, got bright, wind dropped off, no fish. No fish. It's, uh, you can see the, the line of people we had in here was very long yesterday. It was half that day. 1.7. You also have the boss hog of 1.41. You need 1.7 kilos to take it. it out. 2.98. <laughs> Congratulations. Very, very no good. Worries. Did you want to weigh that fish? Uh, the big one? Yeah. Um, is there any reason to? Just so people can see what okay. it is. Take it out. You grab the bag. There's no reason to, but I just want people to see the size of the fish that have been there. A lot of kids weren't here yesterday. Let's put him in and let's see what that fish... Let's weigh him first. Let's weigh him first so they know what they're actually looking at. That is a 1.7 kilo fish from Foster's. There you go. And show that to some of the gang there. And you got the better half with the camera so you can show a good fish. Nice brim. Put him back in the back here. If someone can take his bag and release this while I have a quick chat, that would be pretty cool. Actually, we'll do the results. We'll do the results and we'll come back on stage then, Richard. So that's technically the results for today. What we're going to do is take about a three-minute break. We just calculate the totals. We do a cross-check, and then we go through the prize giving all the way through. So give us a couple of seconds.
Neil Carstairs around, please. Neil? Neil's just making his way down. Neil has agreed to give us a hand on stage as one of the uh, the main supporters here. He also gets to hand away the monster mover, which is the person who has Im improved the most over a two-day period. Thank you, Neil. Come on up. Hard day on one fish, mate. <laughs> All right. This is the last one. Okay, now we'll start off with the Monster Mover. As I said before, this is donated by Neil at Mortgage Corp. And it's a person who's improved results from day one to day two. And from New South Wales, and that's going to be Scott Slattery. Scott, where's Scott at? Scott around? He's sure he's here somewhere. Raise your hand if you're here. Okay, and then we're going to move into this. And if you can go back into the 10th place check down here. Yep. And then we'll roll through all the different ones. You get cash and prizes. And Jim, it's uh, cash to, I think, fifth or so, and prizes one to five. Perfect, fantastic. Okay, in 10th place for New South Wales, a total of eight fish, a total weight of 3.62 kilos, $180, Richard Benson. Richard, come on up. Well done. You made the top 10. That's good points. There you go. Just shake his hand. We'll get a photo. That's it. There you go. Perfect. In ninth place from New South Wales, his very first kayak competition, a uh, total of eight fish for 3.63, just ahead, uh, taking home $210 from New South Wales, Brad Williams. Where's Brad? Here he comes, wobbling over here. Gets in there, first kayak comp, he's done well, he's got fish, and he took home a check. Well done, mate. Perfect. Awesome. In eighth place from Queensland, eight fish for 3.89 kilos. The weights are slowly going up. $250 is Michael Holiday. Michael, well done. Holiday, I'll get it. Close, Holiday, Holiday. Well, he makes me read these things, and it's, it's like... Okay, excellent. Seventh place from New South Wales, a total of eight fish. We just cracked the four kilo range, 4.03. Mark Young, where's Mark? $280. Got the Oz Tackle jersey on. Well done. In sixth place, a total of eight fish. The weights are coming up, 4.16 kilos. From New South Wales, Dane Taylor, $320. We'll go to five, and then we'll do the, uh, the other prizes. Yeah. Well done, matey. Come on up and get some spanduli. It's not bad for six place. Six place, 320 bucks. That's pretty good. Well done. Get a photo for the gang back home. Okay, now we have some division winners, and we've got the youth that are packed somewhere, and they actually have a card on it that say youth. Youth Women's Masters. There you go. That's first time entry. Let's go with this one. I uh, don't have that one, but let's get the next ones here. Round 12. Grandmaster? Yep. Grandmasters? Yep. So what do you have easy available? Grandmasters? Yep. Grandmasters is uh, 2.82 kilos, and it's Brian Rutledge taking more from us again. Great. It does. Grandmasters division, 65 plus. I think he's taken it out five times now. Perfect. In the Masters division, that's 60 to 64 years of age. 2.97 kilos, I believe, and what was it? Jim, my, my own ride in the Masters Division? Jim, there you go. I'll find my glasses one day. 
Well, Don, you didn't have a very good, I think you missed out on the second part of the day on the bag, but he's come on stage and he's taken home first place in his own division. Ah, uh, there you go. He got you. Well, you got him back, so that's pretty good. Okay, women's division, 1.53 kilos, only two fish. Tracy, come on up. It'll be a nice drive home. Lots of lures and throws. Sponsored by Complete Anger in Nara. Complete Anger in Nara, they're a local tackle company. Youth Division. In the Youth Division uh, is Stephen Pryke, 1.44 kilos. Pryke. Hey, Chimba. Do we, what do we do for first timers if none of them caught fish? Draw one out of the hat? Yeah. Can you go get a name from them? Well, that's safe. Yeah. Excellent. Well, Good drive, mate. Right? <laughs> Pick a name. Okay, I've got it there. Done. In first timers, there's two people who fished in the first timers division. They both did not catch fish. They go into a draw. I'm going to reach inside and pull out the winner, and it's going to be Ken Clifton. Ken, are you here for first timer? Where's Ken? There you go. First time here. Come join us, have the fun, and then you walk away with some goodies. You still get some. You still get some. Now, how good is that, huh? That's very good. Excellent. Well done, matey. All right, we're into the top five. The weights go up and the cash goes up. We have a bit of a chat to everybody through on this one. In fifth place from the ACT, eight fish for 4.38 kilos, taking home a check for $360, Jonathan Chin. Well done. <laughs> Cover some of the fuel costs? There you go. Yeah, it will. <laughs> Sounds good. We already know what lures you had. We had it on stage here before. So thank you so much for coming and making the journey. Thank you. Perfect. In uh, fourth place, New South Wales, eight fish for 4.53 kilos, taking home a check of $430. I know he would like that. Brian Hunt, who almost wasn't going to come. Got his act together in the last few hours before. And now he's walking away with $430 and about $150 of thirst. Well done, matey. All right. All right. Tell us about your day and what's the whole weekend. What did you mainly throw today and yesterday to catch these fish to get you this check? Um, mainly uh, Zoom and grub. So that's a, a soft plastic for those who don't know. And what color was it? It is now. Go ahead. All right. Yeah, just um, the Zoom Man Grub, just rig weedless, just along the weed edges over okay. the other side. Okay, and what color was it? Uh, the gudgeon. Gudgeon color, that sounds good. Thank you so much, hope you enjoyed Foster. All right, no worries. Thank Thanks. you. Thanks. Third place, the weights are going up and so are the checks, with eight fish total, 4.67 kilos, taking home $920, Carl Dubois. Uh -huh. The Sydney Latte Brigade, yeah, latte. gluten free soy something. I don't know what are you guys drink down there. It's crazy. Thanks, How you going, mate? Very well indeed. Very Tell well us indeed. about your weekend in Foster. Uh, great day yesterday. Um, uh, started off on the weed beds. Um, just picked up one fish straight away on a smash bait, and then it just went quiet for me. So I made the hike up to the racks, um, which turned out to be a, a good choice. I was just Pulled them in one after the other. It was I had a great day. The big fish, I didn't drop any. Oh, <laughs> who's ringing me? That's your wife. Summer. She just saw you got a check. <laughs> got a check. So I can tell um, you right now, she's on there and she she's says, on there, yeah. "That's my money." Um, uh, and they all came on the hip forty. Uh, glad I had a lure. Now, what color is that lure? It's it's like a muddy prawn. Like a muddy prawn color. Yeah. Deep diver. Uh, it's, it goes down to about 1.2, 1.5. Go ahead. I want to know who it I'll, is. I'll turn it off. So, um, yeah. It's yeah. your Scotty wife. Baker. It is. No. Scotty Baker. <laughs> Thanks, Scotty. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, and today had a bit of a disaster. Snapped a Mirage drive on the way up there. So um, Too much info. Too much info. Um, but these things happen. That's the way it goes. That's and, right. Um, but, <laughs> but, um, and then today I picked him up, a mixture of SL Remix, uh, Smash Bait, and Hip 40 again. Okay, excellent. Well done. We'll see what this does to your scoring for the world's qualifying. Thank you very much. Rightio. Now, cracking into the five kilo bags for Foster um, with 
5.11 kilos, eight fish total from New South Wales, Chris Hickson. $1,420. Yes, Jim, he said it's all yours. We'll just get the check straight to you. That's right. <laughs> there you go. Well done, matey. Cheers, mate. Now, you've had a bit of a trio here. You've, uh, this is your third comp in a row now? Yeah, yeah. So I had um, Clarence and then the Gold Coast and then this one in a week straight pretty much. So Saturday to Sunday. And um, was this a, of the, all the different payouts, have you done well here? At Foster? Yeah. Yeah, this is way better than any result I had on the last trip away anyway. Well, there you go. <laughs> I think go. the, um, the four-fish bag I got yesterday was about half a kilo bigger than any five-fish bag I got in the last week. So That sounds good. How many kilometres do you think you travelled today in the kayak? Oh, I think I remember looking at um, having a bit of an idea where I was going well, leading up to this. So just so I had some idea on what sort of distances and times, and it'd be close to 18, 19 kilometres for the day. It was more the bits in between than the straight line. Yep. Yeah. Sounds good. Well done, and we'll get on to first place. Cheers, mate. We're going to get the top five people back on the stage for a photo, yes. if we can do that. Rightio. Um, the first bag going into the six kilos was 6.40 kilos, eight fish, um, 3.42 kilos on day one, 2.98 kilos on day two. Also, the Hog's Breath Cafe Boss Hog, the extra $100, taking home $2,730 from Victoria. Turn your phone off so Scotty Beggar doesn't call. Richard Summerton. Scotty Baker yeah, always yeah, wants Scotty. to be in the act. Yeah, yeah. Always. Well done, Congratulations, Matty. Thank you very much. Not, oh. not a bad bag for two days of fishing. No, especially for Foster. Um, yeah, it was uh, a bit of a trek over to where I went. I went over to Tunkari. Um, and then uh, I think it's about seven, just over seven Ks from here in a straight line. So mm. that must be over eight. We're always worried about Foster and other waterways this time of year, mainly because of the weather you don't know. And two is the fish sometimes haven't started migrating back in. So you have the resident fish and you have the fish from the ocean that start coming back in. You get those wrong and a lot of rain, it can be a very <laughs> bad waterway to do it. We got very, very lucky yesterday. The cold weather was a bit miserable, but I think the, obviously the bags today, yesterday was better fish. You obviously saw it in your bags, but uh, it was quite good to see the water here. And like I said, 77 of 96 people got fish. It's a testament of how good this waterway is all the way through. So um, well done on that. We're going to take now, and uh, you've got a Boss Hog Award too. So you've got the Hog's Breath Cafe, the extra $100. So it gives you a total of 2830 to take home for the weekend. Now, you've got Thank some you. people who support you. Just go ahead and run through how you, who, what guys are helping you out. Yeah, well, uh, this weekend, of course, um, before I came up, I had uh, Steve Steer. And I said, well, it's going to be pretty bad. This I'm going to be fishing racks, so I'm going to need some more crabs. So, so Steve's here. He's later. a supplier and manufacturer of those things called the Crank of Crabs, the crab imitation that you used. Did you use those most of the weekend? I used them all weekend. Um, I tried some other stuff on pre-fish, but then um, it was olive brown and the sort of the new brackish fiddler. Okay. Uh, most of the fish came on the brackish fiddler, mm -hmm. so I just stuck with that. And uh, for the last two days, that's all they've been eating, both in light and heavy, dependent on the current. Yep. And uh, see Scott Lovick fishing pants on. And yep, yeah, got Lovick kayak fishing. So you got Cranker uh, look after me. Of course, you got Steve uh, Duff at Duff Rods. He looks after me as well. Um, uh, Hummingbird now and uh, Rhino Rack. Fantastic. Uh, yeah, and I think that's it. Oh, actually, my main supporter. Tanya. Tanya. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds good. Well, well done on that. Um, it's been a great result for all the way through. We're going to start total up. Have you got the uh, Australian team information there, Jim? Is that on the printer or is it on the screen? Are you going to print it off or do I need to? <laughs> Let's do that. So we're going to announce the Australian team for the Hobie Fishing World Championships, number six in a series. Uh, that's going to be in Louisiana, USA, chasing redfish, uh, I believe flounder and trout, three species of fish. It's an invite only. You have to qualify. The best 55 anglers from around the world go there. We've been Australia twice. We've been to Texas chasing largemouth bass. We've been to the Netherlands uh, chasing large pike. We've been to China chasing a fish called a topmouth cutter. Um, we've had a wide variety of fishing. Per 
non official it's provisional, so Jim feels good. It's a provisional as well. So we've got to go back and kind of do it. But he's going to print out. We're going to have a provisional one here. And the other thing, too, is there are people who may not be able to attend, so that final team won't be decided. So you hit the button on the printer. That's good. While he's doing that, there's a couple, a lot of people I need to thank. One is the Lakeside Caravan Park. There's a lot of people that do things in Foster. These guys have done over the moon for us. They've kind of let us come in, take over the whole caravan park. We've kept it kind of quiet, so we haven't been kicked out yet, which is good. Um, so many, many thanks to Lakeside uh, Caravan Park. Um, also for the city council, it gives the permits and the waterways through it. Hog's Breath Cafe, it's the rounding, uh, the naming rights sponsor for this round, Hog's Breath Cafe. Great group of people on the inside. Uh, Barclay Marines, without question. I mean, James has been here every morning where it's rain and cold doing the breakfast for us and the fantastic lunch. Um, fantastic James on that one. And then my crew that makes it look easy. We've got Peter Costello on media. We've got Jim Berry, the secondary uh, tournament director. We've got Matty Hill. We've got Tanya Sumner. They've stepped in several times, and it's just great to have all these people here to make this all work together. So please, put your hands together for all these people. And Barclay Marine, thank you so much, James. You've done a good job. Let's just go and have a look on the printer. Just He's still waiting. How are we going, Jim? Okay. I don't know who's in it. <clears throat> Very interesting results. These are provisionals. We have to take and scrutinize all the points from all the rounds. We also find out who can attend and not. Uh, there are six people going to the Hobie Fishing World Championships. In, in sixth place from New South Wales, Carl Dubois. Fifth place from Victoria, Aaron Williams. Fourth place, Tony Petty from Victoria. Third place from Victoria, Chris Burbage. Second place from Victoria, Paul Malov. And in first place, this weekend's winner from Victoria, Mr. Richard Summerton. Now, we're going to get you guys on stage in a minute. We'll get the other top five back on. These are provisional. So if I can get the top five guys in the foster round to come on stage, please, with your little trophies, so we can get a photograph for the event. And if you can please put your hands together for the top five for the foster round here, please. Thank you. Well done to all those competitors. That's all right. Yeah, there we go. Touch and if you can, the first two guys can catch up with Jim Barry. We're going to do a small little interview for our report. If we can now get the Australian team on stage, please. This is provisional results for the Australian team. That'll be you two guys, Carl. Carl, Aaron, Tony, Chris, Paul, and Richard Summerton. For the for the photo, we're gonna lose the camera. <laughs> this is about me, not about you. <laughs> and then you can play. With <laughs> no, it's up on stage. If we get it in order, please. We'll get first, second, let's put them up this way. So first place is Richard, second Paul, Chris. Who's ringing me? He's not here? Just Scott Bike. Okay, he's not here. And if I can get Matt on stage as well, <laughs> as the captain of the team. How many? You can kneel down in front of us. <laughs> Chris Burbage, uh, 
has left for the day. We also have Matt Petri. Matt is the a team captain, is also fishing. So here is the Australian team. I'll get out of the photo. Put your hands together. They're going to represent Australia in December in the USA. Okay, that is going to conclude the foster proceedings. I think we've got it all done. Oh, you want to know where the Australian Championships is? Everyone's trying to work out where it is. You're from Queensland. Where do you think it's from? Where on the Gold Coast? Where? No. So there's a brand new parklands, Broadwaters Parklands, where the Southport Amateur Fishing Club is. That's where we're launching from. All the details will be there all the way through, probably in about three days' time. We've just got the permits, and uh, we really like that location. It's going to split things up, and it's a very big area there. Thumbs up from you guys on that one? Well done. Fair ones here, thank you very much. All the competitors, 95 anglers made it through. A lot of people traveled a long distance here. Michelle from Western Australia, especially. Well done, Michelle. Thank you very much for coming. Some of the people here and all of our sponsors, Daiwa, Berkeley's here fishing, Atomic, uh, Eco Gear, which is JML, Hog's Breath Cafe, uh, ABT, Rhino Rack, and Power Pole. Thank you very, very much, and that's it for this weekend. Enjoy your day.